Oh, for us! Alright, everyone, I'd like to just thank you real quick for taking an interest in the BCC elections. If you haven't read the candidate profiles, please do that right now. Check it out below. We just want to make sure that you're an informed voter and that you're not just voting on someone you know, but someone that you actually believe in. Aryan, when are the dates for voting? Wednesday, October 9th at 9 a.m. And it ends at Friday, October 11th, 5 p.m. Oh. All right, so don't forget, please make sure you vote. Please make sure you read the canon profiles before you do all that. And if you want to just get involved, don't worry, we still have opportunities for that. Just get involved! We got Athletic Committee, we got the Promotions and Marketing Committee, and we also have a Frosh Committee coming up, so look out for that. Frosh Committee! That being said, enjoy the rest of this video. We'll see you later. So again, thank you guys all for coming out and I'm really super excited to start the debate slash speeches. So best of luck to all of you. Just some rules. We ask you when we ask you the questions, please do not use the questions to slander your opponent being like, yeah, I'm really good at this. And as you can tell, he's really not. So you should vote for me. Awesome. Like we ask you, please be respectful for everyone here. I know we said it in our candidacy meeting. A big thing is being the sport. When you guys take on your position, I want you to win it and everyone else to be like, you know what, I'm really happy that he or she won, not, oh my gosh, like, well, this happened, that happened. This is all for fun. It's all to be a part of a food. In all of your profiles, which I know because I typed all of them out and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm typing them all out. All of you were talking about wanting to be a part of the community and bettering it. So this is how you're gonna better it. Or even if you're not going, even if you don't win, it's how you are as a person, how you're supporting that who does, the person who does, and helping them. So that's one of my rules. The other one is, so VP externals, because you guys are running for a president position, you'll have two minutes to speak. And general member and first year reps, you guys are gonna have one. So like I'm saying, like it's a really short time. It's almost like an elevator pitch. So when you guys are talking, don't ramble on like I do sometimes. Hit your points, what you have to say, get it out, get it across, okay? Everything's gonna be recorded, so please don't get nervous. I kind of forget the camera's here. Yeah, like I know sometimes it freaks well, people why out. You mention it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Honestly, just pretend it's off. Or like if you want to, I'll, yeah, just pretend it's off. Like it's nothing to be worried about. It's something so small. Just come up here, feel comfortable in yourself. You guys all know what you're saying because it's all coming from your heart and none of us do. If you forget something or you make a mistake, remember that none of us are gonna know that you made this mistake. Only you will, so don't beat yourself up about it and don't worry, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to start the two VP externals. Let's give them a round of applause. Woo! Woo! Oh, you honestly, like, you guys can choose. Yeah, like, if you want to start first. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys both the same question, and then you guys both can answer. Oh, sorry, I was just going to say when it comes to the question, after you guys give your speeches, I'll be asking you the same three questions, just so it's not different, and you guys will both have a chance to answer the same one. After both our speeches. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to make sure you know all the questions. You're recording? Don't, don't look at the camera. No, no, no. <laughs> Hello, Bethune. My name is James Dodd. I understand some of you might actually not know who I am or have never seen me around here before. However, that's not true. Say you're walking past the cast, you see the digital signage, I 3D rendered that. Say you're in the JCR, you're looking at the event posters, I designed that. Let's say you're looking over all the BCC episodes on the YouTube page. I edited, created those, produced them, and filmed them. Or maybe you're watching the, uh, what is it, the Dragon Week recap video. I also made that during Frosh Week. Um, I'm all over Bethune, and you just didn't know it. Uh, the Bethune clothing line has been at a standstill for months, and I would like to take care of that. We already have the designs ready. Everyone's waiting for them. Not everyone just wants to wear York gear. They want to wear Bethune. As VP external, I wish to take care of that as soon as possible. As Bethune's formal digital media assistant, I started a media revolution. Not many of the colleges have done that before, and I didn't want to stop. However, my position was holding me back from reaching the true potential of Bethune. I wish to take care of that as well as VP External. Uh, the VP External has many duties within Bethune. The most important and most challenging of these roles is being in charge of the Promotions and Marketing Committee. The Promotions Marketing Committee is extremely tech savvy, and if the VP external is unable to completely understand the roles, let's say the digital media assistant, the promotions and mark, no, sorry, the clubs and affiliates, and also Normie the Dragon, 
There really is no need for the role of PHP external if they do not understand all the others. Um, I know that I have a very technical background and I would be perfect for this, this position. And this upcoming election, you ought to vote ought for VP external. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When you're ready. Okay. Uh, okay. Timer. Um, well, my colleague here just gave you a great introduction as to the responsibilities of VP external. I guess I don't have to go over that. That strikes out a big portion of my speech. <laughs> Basically, poster making, video editing, website updating, uh, email answering, all of that, all of those technical skills that he was talking about, of course, is a prerequisite. And we both possess both of the, uh, we both possess those qualities. Um, I myself have an extensive background in web design and programming as well, and very knowledgeable in Photoshop, Illustrator, and a, and a bunch of other Adobe products that you've probably never even heard of. Those ones that you wonder, what do they even do? They just make up names and sell them. <laughs> um, and once again, this is a VP position, an executive position. Someone expected to make executive decisions. Someone who's expected to know protocol and rules and know how to handle different situations and not crack under pressure and be able to decisively move the organization forward. And that's exactly what I've been doing over the past three years. I have held three different positions on council, three diff six different positions on other organizations, including the York Federation of Students, sitting on the board of directors as the director of Norman Bethune College. Uh, all, of these ex all of these experiences have uh, given me the know-how and knowledge to move forward as an executive on any kind of council. It's given me the confidence to deal with not only the technical issues that the BB External has to deal with, but also the social issues. What a lot of people don't realize is that there is a professional aspect and also a social aspect to deal with your fellow council members, teammates and uh, teammates and constituents. And I believe I've proven myself to be more than worthy of that position. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to ask first, I'm going to ask a couple questions and then it's going to be, the floor's going to be open to you guys as well. So if you have any questions, because they will be representing you, you're more than free to ask them, okay? So my first question, either one of you can choose who I to answer it first. Um, as external relations, again, your biggest thing is we're taking Bethune and showing it to the general public. So I guess the biggest thing that's just occurred right now in regards to external relations would be orientation week. And I guess I'm a little biased too because I'm Shula Soul Chair, so why do you think I'm going to bring up orientation week? So because of that, I guess just what was your involvement in um, orientation week this year? And I, what have you guys done to I guess, kind of get the Bethune message relayed out there? Hey, go ahead. Um, it's actually very funny. I, um, I was not a frosh leader during orientation. However, I did show up, and the leaders that were there showed me a great time because, like I said, I've been here for three years. This is my fourth year. And uh, I had a few cheers for me, for myself, all to myself. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and I participated with the leaders and, uh, you know, um, had a great time there, met the Froshies, talked to everyone. And the reception about Bethune was amazing. Thanks to all the leaders for making Bethune seem like such a great college because everyone seemed to love it. And the fact that we have a, such a turnout for elections afterwards is, is proof of that. Thanks a lot. All right. I was very much a part of uh, Frosh Week this year. I'm sorry, Dragon Week. Um, I was one of the leaders. However, I did have my position on council, and that kind of trumped it. So I was all over uh, filming everything. Uh, you might have seen me at events if you were there. I know a lot of first year refs are here. Um, I pretty much filmed everything, which then I had to make the video for the closing ceremony. So I really experienced every single part of Frosty's this year, and I hope to do it again next year because it was a lot of fun. Okay. And I, like, I hear about you guys both being on council, so obviously there's a lot of experience and there's stuff that's been done in the past. So in regards to that, what do you guys plan to do now that hasn't been done in the past that's going to really reach out to the student students? Because one of your biggest issues is you guys have 6,500 students, and a lot of times the biggest problem is that they don't know that they're even a part of the dude. Or because there's so many, you lose that sense of 
I'm a college where they know actually like, we have that because we're so small. So what do you guys think plan to do this year that's totally different to bring people in to make them feel like a community? Do you want to take this one first or something? Yeah, sure. Um, as digital media, I did kind of start a wave of um, videos. Uh, we call them PCC episodes. I wish to really keep those going. Um, we also have a little bit of a sideshow going. We're going to make a Power Ranger parody. Um, pretty much what I've noticed is people love watching videos and not text posts. So there really is no point to, to Facebook posts all over the place. People want to see these super funny videos. They want to get involved in them. Like, for a Power Ranger, you need a billion little minions for the big box, so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, the, I actually, it's actually very interesting that you say that the aspect of outreach relies a lot upon the people we're trying to reach to, and that depends on their interests in the college, um, which, in a big part, is not just the VP External's job to do, but um, Bethune as a whole. For example, Frost Week was, is the greatest example. This is where you grab their attention. This is where you say, Bethune is the greatest. Come out to our events. Come and experience the best time of your life here. And they did a great job of that. Anil and, um, and Chris Ricketts did a great job planning orientation and uh, totally getting our message out there. And the videos were amazing. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, people don't, people don't like reading text, and that's fine. But um, you know, those, those skills are there. I actually fancy myself a director. I love video editing and whatnot as well, but uh, I have a lot of great new ideas for films. The Power Rangers is a great one, but I have like 200 more stored up here. And uh, I actually did have a series in mind as well that I wanted to put into, get to put into those BCC episodes. So let's see if this goes through. Are we going to make it a reality? <laughs> Okay, and then my last one, this is third and final, and then if you guys have any questions before it's open to you to ask away. Um, so, the, like, as you guys are saying, the promo marketing committee has already been set up, so these people are already established. So, as community big of these people you're working with, people are going to be a leader to. So, I guess it's just, like, what are you going to do to establish that kind of a connection with them, like, when you guys get into this position? Um, the people currently on council, I, once again, like, I was on council. <laughs> Previous year, I have I have a background with these people. I'm not somebody who just entered council. This is not new to me. I uh, have been familiar with the, commu the community for a very long time now, and um, we do have that history, so that helps with the cohesion and teamwork. And uh, I don't think that there's going to be any problem with communicating or uh, coordinating anything between us. These are people that you respect, your colleagues, people that you work with. Uh, why would there be any problem in setting up? anything that you, literally you can do anything that you want to. It's just the people that you have on the team and how well you work together. Well, this is actually an excellent situation for me because I was on the promotions marketing committee as digital media assistant. Um, I like to think that I did almost take the role of VP external since VP external did quit within the summer. Um, pretty much like the, uh, the videos, uh, that was pretty much all my idea to start those going. I've already taken the role of VP external, and I wish to continue it. And then, guys, at council and as well, I'm assuming here. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah. Um. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. You, you guys say that you guys have like the same experiences with Adobe and all that other work or whatever. But what <laughs> makes you guys? What What makes you different from him and you? That's <laughs> actually an amazing question. Okay. Um, I guess it's reached a point where, uh, yeah, thank you, high five, yes. <laughs> uh, it's reached, it's probably reached a point where uh, we're not asking anymore, can you do this? It's uh, more, are you able to handle the responsibilities of the position? Do you have the experience and know-how to um, interact, not just you, but have your position interact with the rest of council? Um, and it's, that's where it's just the experience comes into play, like the level, the difference. When I was going for an executive position before on council, I took a year off. I said, hey, I'm not ready to handle this yet. I got to know the community better. I worked as, uh, I worked as a monitor here. I got to know everybody. And then I got, into, I got into the position. I got into the role because then I was familiar with the space. I was familiar with the people. Um, I think that the biggest, the biggest difference would be experience and um, 
and knowledge of council code law and rules. Great. Could you repeat the question, please? Um, <laughs> hey, you guys say that you guys have the same. Um, so you have the same qualities, like you can both, yeah, you both have the what, same skill set, so I guess what makes oh, you no. guys, what yeah. you different from each other? Um, I do study visual media as my program here, so I pretty much learn all these things just at school. I pay to do that. <laughs> um, I also am the videographer for Lasan, so I've definitely learned a lot uh, through that throughout the summer, and I still am working for them now. Um, pretty much for the promotions and marketing, because that's definitely one of the biggest things for VP External. Um, I've noticed that everyone needs to work together, everyone needs to stay on the same page. And if you have almost a disconnect between the tech, um, say I couldn't tell Jenny Wu, who's the digital media, I couldn't exactly tell her what I want her to do because I don't know what to do. So I need to almost stay on the same page as her. Um, Arian, who's clubs and promotions, he wants to do a like, slur video for every single club. So I can help him out there, you know? You need to. You need to one-up them every time, just so everyone can stay on the same page. Uh, this is a question. Um, since you're working with the digital media assistants and whatnot, right? Um, let's say something happens and they totally like collapse on, like, say, like a video campaign or a poster or whatever, right? And you know they're not available to do things like that. So, like, what kind of skills do you guys have to maybe make up for things that they can? Like, because I know Jenny's by herself, right? And, <laughs> She's got a lot, the, the one digital media system we have right now, she's, uh, she's got a lot to handle, right? So like, what sort of things can you do to add on to that and, you know, take care of the situation just in case something like that happens? Yeah. Um, that's, that, really, that goes back to what I was saying in my speech, is that this, this is a team. This is not, this is not, you contribute your share and you go home. This, that's not counsel. If somebody, if somebody is slacking, and there's a problem. Let's say there's a pro I'm personal problem. I'm I'm like, like, so no, let's say they, they can't do it. They yeah. can't do it. They're not able to do something. It's not, uh, you don't say, oh, hey, that's your fault. We, we not only need to be able to compensate for that, but also council members come in and say, hey, I can help with this. I can help with this. You reach to your fellow teammates. You say, can you help me? Or can you help this person? And we all come together as a team. Like, it's not all, for example, I mean, there have been times where myself on council, I was VP external, I would help uh, the VP social, or I would help the VP finance uh, with their job. Like, it's not cut in stone, you know? But isn't your job cut in stone, like your promotions, your marketing? No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, if that yeah, yeah, it is, it is. If that side collapses, how can you take care of the promotions and marketing? That's what I'm saying. Cause, like, so you're saying if there's an absence of the digital media? Yeah, system. that's what I'm saying. Like, say someone's <coughs> not, Whatever, how can you? Because at the end of the day, you're you're the lead, right? You're VP external. Right. And even though digital media assistants have their job, you still need to be able to do what they can do. Just exactly. We have those qualifications. That's why James was saying we need to be able to understand these people's jobs. We need to be able to have these skills as well. We can't we can't go into this role blindly and have somebody um, editing a video or doing some programming that you can't comprehend. That's not, that's why we both have these backgrounds in these areas. Uh, yeah, I definitely feel bad for Jenny right now. <laughs> Since I've left, uh, yeah. I kind of, she misses me. Yeah, I should have, I should have <laughs> done a few more things for her. But, um, well, we definitely hope that we will have another, still have two digital media assistants. Um, of course, I've already proven myself as one that I can fulfill the role. Um, and I actually, I'd love to keep doing all the roles. If I want to make a poster, like, there it is. You can go for it. Social can talk to me. Anything like that. And how's your account for social media? Okay, so, um, so, as you guys may know, promotions have been really hard because we don't have a vice president external, right? And we have a bunch of amazing events that the general members and I organize. And ticket sales have been, uh, have actually been pretty slow because people are not really aware, aware of the events that we are holding. So I mean, what could you, what could you change? Like, what could you do to change that? Because, I mean, I've been getting posters made, postering them, and things like that. But what could you change as vice president external to up the ticket sales and get more participation from our college? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, posters can really only go so far, as you know. Um, honestly, I believe it's video. Um, like, even the poster just on Facebook just doesn't click in someone's head. If you make
make a super funny video and put the poster at the end. And I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> totally, you know? Yeah. So um, that, you know, we could always just, like, run outside with Normie and start pumping people up. But <laughs> I believe, like, a solid thing would be to go with the videos. Um, exactly what you said. Videos are, are very key, but um, I think there's more of a human aspect to it that needs to be more filled because uh, at the moment it's just Facebook post after Facebook post and a poster, right? Um, we need to get talking. I actually, I have seen the council members do this and I really appreciate the ones who do, is they go around to their friends and say, hey, this is happening. Come out. Tell all your friends. Do this. Do this. And I think that that's one of the reasons that they are as high as they are, is, is the human aspect, is going up to somebody and personally saying, hey, I'm going out to this event. I want you to be there. And, but people do love videos. People love the witty one-liners or some like, you know, meme or joke on the internet that you can just incorporate and they laugh for like... Uh, since you'll be delegating tasks to your promotion from Market Committee, uh, especially since last year I only had one digital media assistant, this year you guys will have one digital media assistant. In addition, uh, you have a mascot as well as a club, sort of director of clubs and affiliates. So I want to ask you guys, what qualities and what experience make you guys a good leader? And secondly, what would you change about last year's Mr. Oh. Like you can criticize it if you want. <laughs> No, we love you too much. <laughs> well, this is all a ploy just to hear about. <laughs> um, I guess go ahead. Oh. Or do you want me to? Let me think of another question. <coughs> Pardon? Um, what leadership qualities do you yeah. have that can lead in? And the other one is what would you change about like, last year? Okay. okay. Um, I, all right. Fine. Uh, <laughs> um, I, in terms of leadership, I have been trying to or I have been putting myself into those roles ever since I first came here. I was the first year representative here on council, uh, executive vice president, YFS representative, uh, Bethune director. Uh, I am part of student organizations as vice president, treasurer, president. Um, all of these roles, all of these interactions, all of these experiences over the past three years um, don't just make you a leader, but make you able to act like a leader, to be able to make decisions. And those are, the, those are the qualities that I possess. That's the experience coming through. That's the ability to be decisive, to make hard decisions, and to move the organization forward as a whole. Um, as, as to what I would change about you, Chris, Absolutely nothing, man. I love you. <laughs> but like what was your improve from last year? Well, um, James brought up the clothing line, which was um, I think it was late last year, I believe. Yeah, the clothing line could have been a bit more. You could have been a bit more um, on top of that. But the posters that you made were mind blowing. They were great, um, and we didn't have many videos. We could have used more videos. Again, these like it's a technological age. We want to move forward with. We don't have the attention span anymore for tech. <laughs> and um, yeah, so just, it's, it's, and, and the promotions committee was not very present at the time, but I mean, in terms of the actual skills, they were all there for you. Um, you had, you definitely were very skilled in all of those, like the programming and the Photoshop and everything. So mad kudos to you uh, and you know, Great to have you on board. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna have like a blur of professional leadership job, but I believe, especially for say digital media, that let's say the digital media assistant would definitely trust me to ask me any sort of leadership questions, because um, I will be able to answer all because um, we're on the same page. Um, Chris, I think you talk too much. Beefing, beefing right here. <laughs> no, no, Chris, no, you do, beefing, you beefing. do have a lot of technical experience because I have, as I was sitting there at digital media, you come up behind me and said something that fascinated me technologically. Um, yeah, definitely. Just maybe last year we needed more, more pump up with the videos, say. Um, especially since videos just get everyone involved. Um, just to say that you were even standing behind the camera is always fun. So, um, yeah. Well, no, thank you guys so much.
So with the two of you, you guys are gonna have a minute and a half to see. So you guys, guys, if you can just, just because we're recording it, so I can't have too much mumble in the background, so I won't be able to hear them. Yeah, general member. So you guys are going to have about a minute and a half to speak. I'll be timing you. I'll give you guys a 10 second countdown just so you know where you start. Then if you guys get to the time, unfortunately, I'll have to cut you off. So just be aware of where you are. Uh, you guys are more than willing to choose who'd like to speak first. So that's completely up to you. And when you're ready, just Wait. give me a nod. And... I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 you're good. Yeah. Make this start. Make this start. All right. All right. All right. So when you're ready. Okay, so my name is Nav Gill. Full name is Nav Reed, but everybody just calls me Nav. Um, and I'm running for general member because I want to get more involved in the student community. The um, big reason I'm running is because back in my first year, like, I was really intimidated by um, the college council members and, you know, getting involved with the student or whatever. But I wanted to. I was just, you know, scared to do something. And I actually, you know, I emailed Anil, who just got, like, the president at the time, and I said, hey, you know, here's my situation. And he actually, you know, he sat down with me and, um, you know, we talked. He's like, here's how you can get involved and blah, blah, blah. And he encouraged me to be a prosecutor, which I did. Um, I don't know if you guys remember or know, but I was the guy running around in a yellow more suit. That was me. Um, and, like, that whole feeling I had, um, just, like, the fact that the president of the student college was sitting down with me, like, just an everyday student, right, just because I emailed him. And he sat down with me, spent that time. Like, um, that felt really good, you know. I felt like that was pretty important. And I want to, like, pay that forward to everybody who's in the soon, right? I want everyone to walk through these doors and feel <coughs> very welcomed. Um, see, like, there's only, how about, like, maybe, like, 30, 40 people sitting in this room right now, but we have over, like, 6,000 students. I see that as a problem, right? I mean, I feel like any, everybody should be involved. Everyone should be, you know, checking out our events, checking out our college, coming here to hang out, coming here to study like that. Because at the end of the day, I want all of us just to be, like, a big family, right? I want at any time for people to be able to come in here and, you know, meet someone new. So that's why I'm running. Thank you. I have whenever you're ready. Uh, hi, my name is Michael. Most of you don't know my name because you all call me Thor. <laughs> um, I think I'm already pretty well known-ish around this area. Yeah, yeah. You laugh, but oh, it's true. Funny. Honestly, people come up to me. It's a real, real name, Thor. Yeah. So that happened. <laughs> Um, basically, I was here for Prash. Yes, I'm all 26. Screw anyone who hates. Um, I'm a very outgoing person. I honestly, like, I say hi to, like, everybody I see, literally. I'm almost always here. I'm in the council room all the time, like, on the, on the legal side. And you don't look at me that way. I hang with council members. I, like, I honestly already feel like I'm part of the team, just without the power, without the capabilities of doing anything with it. So I would like to contribute as well, uh, make events, uh, hang out with the people here, like uh, make them be more outgoing with the bassoon, make it a bigger and a happier community to be in. Like when people come here, I see like groups sitting separately, everyone's like doing their own thing. I would honestly would love to see like them sometimes like mix and match and stuff like that. Like I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of common things but they all hang with their own group. And I just tend to like walk around from group to group and just do whatever, and it works out. And I'm sure a lot of people want to do that. And uh, I'm sure we can make it happen. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So my first question I asked you guys is actually really similar to what I asked to the VP external. So, and both of you touched upon it, how there's so many students that come to Bethune, and a lot of times it's kind of just I guess with the so first years, you guys, we met you at Frosh. In every year, it's we went through your classes or your specializations with. So as a general member, what kind of events or activities are you guys looking to launch this year that haven't been done before that you really think is going to draw a large number of students in? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. All right. Okay, so one big idea I had, because um, Frosh only caters to about 500 people, right? And like I said, there's over like 6,000 people at the college. 
Um, so one idea I had was to like have like a mocktail mixer type thing, so like you know like, like wine glasses and stuff, but like not real alcohol. Just like you know, come down, meet someone new. That's it. That's all it would be, right? And that's we cater to um, people who didn't get a chance to go to Frosh, right? Or like people who are like scared to come in. It's just you know, getting them to come in, just rotating out, you know, talking to people, just having a chill session with everyone here. And I feel like that's uh, something. Events like those are really required. Just because you know every single event that we have can't cater to 6,000 students, right? That's but because Frost only caters to like 500, right? So I mean, little things like that that just um, make it a welcoming social environment for people to come in, meet new people. Because I mean, the only reason um, like I want to get involved with Platoon is because I know other people who are so great at Platoon, right? Like I mean, if all my friends were in Shulik, I'd want to be chilling at like Shulik all the time, right? But all my friends are in Platoon because Platoon is awesome. So um, I feel like if you're, you know, a very open, kind, genuine person, and you know, you're very welcoming to new people. Um, they definitely want to come here because they feel like they're welcome. They feel like they're part of this place, whether or not they're in the college or not. Just a comment: When all your friends go to Shulik, the one thing you want to do is get out of Shulik. Then, just, <laughs> just to put that out there. Yeah. Honestly, I have no idea how to make it work. How to make people join and find new people to hang out with. I have no idea how to do it on the spot. This, this, in my opinion, requires some thinking, some planning. I can say like, yeah, let's have a gathering. How am I going to get people to gather? How am I going to, let's say I want to make like games that everyone will enjoy. How do I know what games people enjoy that will make them meet other people? I can't say for sure exactly how. This, will, for me, at least, it will require a lot of time. I just know that I would really love to make it happen. I would prefer making a, a small areas for a certain stuff. Throw some newspapers in the area or like magazines. People like, oh shit, I read this magazine, you know? Oh my god, you know? And uh, someone else will comment and get any conversation going. The smallest conversation can spark into like something huge. And again, it's small ideas. I have nothing major in mind right now. I will require to think about a lot more. No, it's fine. Those small ideas are really good things. That is a really great way to connect people too. Um, so my other question would be like, as general member, I guess when you guys are defining, I guess if you look at the role of a general member, so you're planning events, there isn't really, well, there is, but there isn't really a specific criteria. Like, as I'm saying, it's, and you guys can launch any kind of event to bring, well, when I say any kind of event, you know what I mean, any kind of event, any kind of event bringing and draw people in. So you need to be different. And like a lot of times you're going to look for a different kind of mindset that someone's going to give to you that is going to bring an idea that no one else has ever thought of. So I guess what makes you guys different and what can you contribute to like the general member party and to Bethune College as a whole? You mean like coming up with events? Even if it's not coming up with events, just be like, you know what, like I'm really, I'm ridiculously creative. Like that's something that's really good when you're like, you know what, I'm really good at finding out what people like and exploiting that. Yeah. Like, so like just what makes you guys different and what your differences can you bring to the council? Okay. Um, well, um, I have zero fear of embarrassment. So, um, right if anyone knows the frosh, you know, I was with Mo back there, and we were, like, you know, <coughs> turning up, like, rapping ridiculous things all the time, <laughs> like, hiding his face, but, uh, and running, you know, running around in the yellow morph suit, just crazy things like that, you know, um, talking to every froshie that I see on campus, like, if I, like, you know, kind of recognize someone, whether I know them or not, sometimes I'll be like, hey, and the person's like, I don't even know you, <laughs> or, or sometimes I'll be like, hey, like, you have frosh, like, I recognize you, like, you know, like, what's your name, you know, that little, like, one, 30 seconds to one minute, just, you know, acknowledging somebody's existence, that's, that's really key, right? Because, I mean, if someone comes up to you and be like, hey, I recognize you from this place, right? Like, I saw you sitting in the library or whatever, right? Um, like, you feel important. You feel like you're valued to someone. And I feel like if you, you know, actually pay that forward and treat everyone like that, um, people are going to start spreading the word. They're going to start getting more involved. And in terms of creativity, like I said, um, you know, very outgoing, not very, very, um, of embarrassment. Um, I'm not really too, uh, yeah, I don't know that, but uh, <laughs> no problem. I'm, I'm no problem. Create, I promise no you, I promise you that I'm creative. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As for embarrassment, I doubt I am, I can be easily embarrassed. I think a lot of the people here saw me today running around my store costume, <laughs> entering a class. I, I think I have a lot of pictures going on. I saw them already on Facebook on somewhere. 
It was pretty funny. Um, I don't think I even became red from that. Like I lifted, like I honestly approached like 30 different people, and like girls just lifted them up. You know, just honestly, just did whatever. No, no sexual assault. Right there. <laughs> it was all consensual. It was all consensual. They signed the form. Um, <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I'm a very outgoing person. Creativity-wise, I'm not going to say I'm the most creative guy. I do have some ideas on here. I do not know my limitations, though, like what the college considers. Like, I think I talked to Keon about this, making a party at Tate McKenzie on, like... Yeah, there's some things you can't do. You'll learn that. Chris managed it. Chris managed it. I don't know my limitations, <laughs> right? But the second I know my limitations, I can go... I usually, like, hit the limit. Like, I... Borderline. Like I go all out when I go when I do something I really go all out. Today instead of posting the posters and stuff like that for uh, people to know me, I was approaching random people, don't know if they're Bethune or not, with my <laughs> sign, vote for Thor. <laughs> like clearly, like I, I really don't uh, consider anything that I do as like this is a limit, this is prohibited, this is this. no. By no my limitations, I will go all out within those limitations, top to bottom. And I will do whatever it takes to make anything successful. And then, guys, I'm going to open the floor to you. So, if any of you guys have any questions, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I have a question. What uh, do you think makes Bethune College different or unique? And how do you think you can use it to promote Bethune College to our 7,000 students, which may not know how unique or different? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've actually walked around the other uh, chill halls uh, for the other colleges. I went to Founders Winters. I've been to Stong. I can say for sure Bethune is a lot better. Like, they either don't have any people there or they're not doing anything. So, for sure, I can already say that Bethune is better. To improve it, honestly, this I will have to talk to whoever becomes a VP because this is a lot of more about publication, like how to publicize this great space that we have here and how to get people here. Because I can stop as many people as I want on the way that I know are from the tunes, like, hey man, want to chill the jacks? Want to play some pool? Most people will be like, ah, no, I'm busy. So I will need to like hit a bigger crowd at the same time and hope that at least 10% or like make 10% appear here and uh, maybe find some guy who has like tons of friends from Bethune and like make them come, kind of come here and enjoy this area. But again, I have to improve this area as well. Because a lot of people who are from Bethune, first of all, either they just study, because uh, engineering, they usually tend to be more study straight people. I know not all of them, um, but to get them to be more socially active will require some work, that's for sure. Okay, well, um, in terms of what makes Bethune different and unique, um, well, if you look at that event list right there, there's things that cater to everyone. Athletes, people who like to party, people who like to sit there, you know, play cards, play League of Legends, like, it's all across the board. So, um, I mean, I feel that Bethune, what's different from them and other colleges is that we cater to every type of person. Right, so whether if you're into um, you know going out to Montreal and you know, hitting the club scene, or if you know if you're into rock climbing, or you know you just want to sit down and play League of Legends like a lot of people do, or if you're still into Yu-Gi-Oh, you know from like grade six, uh, if that's your thing, you can still oh, magic, come magic out here. Gathering. Yeah, magic, it's a big thing, right? Um, but I feel like the reason that a lot of people are involved with, especially um, with the Lausanne School of Engineering, is because you know they're pretty they're pretty new um, and. Uh, Bethune's been rooted in you know, the older programs like you know, um, sociology, biology, things like that. And I feel like it's kind of like um, they feel a little separate because they're like Lausanne School of Engineering, right? They're not. Um, they feel like they're not like a part of Bethune. I feel like um, you need to actually get out to them um, in person, you know, in their classes. Again, like I said, just like every day, you know, interacting with people, um, having little um, info sessions about what's going on at Bethune and what Bethune really is. And you know, even when, before they come into university, letting them know that, okay, you know, you're part of this community, right? And I mean, showing them a few of, you know, James's amazing videos um, on like just how awesome Bethune is, um, things like that really get people 
to know about this place and get involved. Does anyone else have any other questions being from council? Yeah. Alright, so, um, fortunately, I have quite a bit of money left into the budget, and I mean, the, <laughs> the, the general members and I can only do so much, right? And we've, we've done what we could, and I guess we came up with a pretty good list of events for the year, but say I had to give you a large sum of money, say $2,000, to budget an event. What do you think you could do different that we haven't done so far with that money? With money? That's a pretty hard question, but... Especially because you gave us a limit of money. Take a minute. Oh, that's by yacht, you know? No, that's not going to happen, right? <laughs> go-karts. I would go for go-karts. People smashing each other with cars, racing. Over cars. Or that cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go with the safer one. Well, it's pretty safe. I'm not gonna, it doesn't go that fast. Uh, you can fit, I think it's like 16 people per round, something like that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, go. Uh, my name is Mohsen Yusuf. Uh, a lot of you guys know me from Frosh Week. Man, Frosh Week was awesome. I met like, the Froshies, the Froshie leaders. This place, Bethune, it really changed me. I mean, I'm open now, like fully open. Uh, but first year, I'm, I'm going for first year reps, and I've never been in this type of, like, I've never gone for anything like this, part, being part of a council, so I'm really excited, and I'm really passionate about this, right? So I'm really excited about that. This place, it's really unique. I know a lot of people, I mean a lot of people from different colleges who came during our Frost Week to stay here. The lounge, I know people who love the lounge, the, the SOS, like all that stuff, I don't, I'm a first year, so I don't know if any other places have that, but like, there's everything here, man. It's awesome. Um, for me as a first year, I don't want to only be limited to first years, but that's my role. I got to represent first years, and I will represent them to the best of my ability. Um, and, okay, lastly, I'm going to finish off with this issue. Five minutes, okay, uh, five seconds. Okay, this issue, uh, there, I met a lot of first years in my classes, and they don't even know where Bethune is, or they like, oh, I heard about it, but where is it? And to be honest, I need to connect them. To, I got to show them to where Bethune is, all right? That's my role. <laughs> That was great. I've never had anyone talk faster than myself, so I need so much respect for you right now. Uh, whichever one of you guys is ready to go next. I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk faster than me. I felt like it was an option. Like, okay, dude, I'll give you the ticket. Just take it, please. That was great. When you're ready. Hey guys, I'm Nicole and I'm running for first year rep. If I didn't meet you at Frosh, sorry, I was a short lab one running around. So. The thing to me has been a home, and whoever knows, um, school used to always be a place I can run away from, be happy, be myself, but I've only been a part of Bethune for a month, and I already feel like it's a home, it's a family. And I feel like I have my brothers here, I have my sisters here, and that's very important to me. Um, one of the issues that I noticed is a lot of people actually participated in Frosh, but then after Frosh was done, once school started, you don't see them around, they don't come to JCR, they don't participate in events. And as a first year representative, I would like to socialize with those people, get them going, um, let them know they have a voice, you are important, don't be scared, you need a friend, I'll be here. And that, to me, is one of the most important things about Bethune, and I think we do offer that. We have the great leaders, I've brought people from other schools, they want to come here just for Bethune, and yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Sherek Mohammed. Uh, most of you people know me, some don't. Okay, we're gonna try to fix that over the year. Uh, I have, I can take this time to tell you what experience I've had, past experiences, like why, uh, why I deserve the position, but I don't think that's what this is about right now. This is about why, I, why you guys should pick the first shot, because the only thing that matters is what you want. And that's what my whole candidacy is based on. What you want is what you get. So you can't mess up, because nobody knows what fun is better than you. And together, I promise you, we can make this le year legendary because Bethune kicks ass. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're recording. 
we're, we're, yeah, I was gonna say we're recording. We're gonna cut that out. It's gonna go we're live in public. <laughs> oh really? We have thirty seconds to eat. Like, <laughs> okay, my name is Beth Galindez. I'm running for first year rep. The thing I could actually give you to is experience. I follow a lot of that. I did to link crew. Um, that's something that where uh, it's kind of like frosh leaders where you try to help the the new year. Um, what's it called? Um, go from high school to to uh, to university. I've done that. I've also been to Ontario Student Leadership Conference. You have to get picked for that. Basically, I've learned a lot about leadership, and that's my advocacy for student leadership because I know that a lot of people are too scared to do it themselves sometimes, and so it's nice to be alongside with them, trying to um, trying to persuade them or trying to help them. Um, join with you and that's what I want for Bethune and I really just oh. <laughs> um, I just want everyone to know me as someone as their friend and someone that could also push them forward. Thank you. Okay, so hey Dragons, uh, my, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Anna Bajagora. I'm a fun-loving first-year uh, first biomedical student here in Bethune College, and I want to be your first year up. I, want, I think that I have the best, uh, well, not the best, I have a good background <laughs> that will let me be your first year up. I have um, I've been part of an organization, um, a scouting group, where I got to organize events and for for little kids, and I got to, I had the whole, um, I got, I had to go to a park, I had to take them there, I had to pick a budget, I had to, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> okay, um, wow, this is really bad, um, so, uh, basically I have the knowledge, but um, let me debrief you quickly on what a first year rep does. I basically have to make your first year as best as it could be, and I want you to have the best freshman year as you can have. And <laughs> okay, your outfit, I totally thought you were running for shoeless first year. I was like, yeah, I know. I'm running for clothes. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, anyway. okay. Okay. Mine's nice start. Okay. <coughs> Vote for me, you know I got it. Oh. Vote for me, you know I got it. Oh. I'm Eliza, you know you got it. <laughs> Go vote for me, because you know I got it. Okay, <laughs> I'm Eliza, and I want to be your first year rep. And what do I have? I have spirit, and I love Bethune. I've been repping Bethune since I was in grade nine. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I've been repping Bethune since I was in grade nine. Like my brother goes to York, and I knew I was I wanted to do science at York, so I actually like took the time to like check out Bethune. And I was this grade nine kid in my uniform, and I literally walked in here, and some random person said hi to me, and like that was my, I was like, okay, I'm in love. And then, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then I took the time to go to Frosh. I tried to get to know everyone, and. I was actually trying to see how I could get involved with Bethune more, and Anil, he sat with me for like three hours after the boat cruise, and he explained to me everything, and he's such a nice person, and everyone's such a nice people, and I'm just going to be awesome. I'm just, like, I love all of you guys. Okay, I knew I wanted to make money when I was young, and I don't think I was repping shoelaces. <laughs> That's <laughs> just the No, you're good. No, you're, you're fine. Hey guys, my name is Adam Saber. I'm running for first year representative. I'll tell you a little about myself. I am a computer science major, and I know that. Oh no. Oh, you, right? No, we can actually be social. <laughs> oh my god. So. <laughs> so something that. I would do if I was first year rep, right? The thing is, biggest thing I see with first year reps that I would want to change, and that's why I'm running for this, is that all I see when I come here is groups sitting together, especially first years. First years are with their own little groups. And I think, like, especially being in a first year, that's intimidating. You come in here, and if you don't see your friends, you don't know what to do. You're like, oh no, no, to hang out with, I'm gonna go home now. 
I want people to be able to come in here and see anybody and just go interact with them. Go make friends with whoever's in here, right? Because that's what our little college is about. It's a community. It's a place to come from where you're studying, take a break from your studying, and come chill. Make friends, play some pool, maybe watch a movie on there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's about what I'd want to do. I'd want the P and it as well just first years to be heard, right? Because we'd, being a first year, you think you don't have many, much say, but I want to change that. So. <laughs> I'm just checking, there's so many of you, I'm like losing track. I'm like, okay, yeah. okay, so thank you guys. I know it was the first time you ever to do it, and I know it could be nerve wracking, so great job. I think so, it's great. So. I remember I did first year up back then, so like I remember I was nervous, and I rapped on mine too, so when you did that, I was like, <laughs> yeah, that was great. So um, the first question I'm going to ask you guys is first year rep, first time into the school, and a lot of the times, like I know I'm on, because I'm on council at Shulik with our first year reps, for them, they're kind of like, okay, I'm just going to get the position and then I'm going to do what's been done every other year, and then I'm going to stop. So with you guys, because a lot of people are like, when they're first years, they're worried that like we're so young, I don't know if people are going to listen to me, like the upper years, like maybe the social won't listen to me because he's just like, oh, what are they going to know? They're little, right? So with you guys, what is it about you that you think you're going to be able to go into this team, and that you're going to go there and you're going to be able to pitch amazing ideas, and you know that they're going to see you, and be like, I can listen to this person, I can respect them. So what is it about you that feels like you're going to be able to go in there and be like a well-known leader on council? Is it okay if I go? Do you want to go? Go, go, go. go. Okay, um, so to what you just said that how can I like show that I'm very, like I have amazing ideas, like why I belong. I think more, more importantly than that is how can you well work well with the team? It's not, student council is not about each individual person. Right, just showing them so, but rather come together to make Bethune enjoy every moment it had, like they have during the fine, their four years. And I believe that as first year, first year rep, I would take the initiative to plan stuff that hasn't been done. But clearly, because I'm a first year, I obviously don't know stuff that has already been done, and I, that can only be done after I get like knowledge of what's been done or not. But seeing original ideas such as the League of Legends tournament and like Frost Revival, clearly there's a, a sense of where people what people want to do and what people where they want to go and every like everybody said there's groups 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 there's people who play the an there's groups there's the anime group here they're playing cards there's uh <coughs> the pool group guys always come there to play pool foosball but honestly what i think we should do is just op just mingle everybody together because yeah it's sure it's fun when you sit with their friends but it's more even more fun when you find someone new within black, that's what I think, that's what my idea would be. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, okay. Um, all right. <coughs> to be honest, I think Bethune, everybody, all the council members, I think they do an excellent <laughs> job making sure all first years or everybody's hurt. So I don't think I'll have a problem there. What I think I can bring most is I know a lot of first years, and I've made some really good bonds with them. Like, they know me, like I know him. <laughs> and to be honest, uh, what, uh, sorry, what Chion or James, James, right? Yes, okay. Uh, what everybody was talking about, I, instead of like videos, text messages, and stuff like that, me, I act like on a human basis. I will interact with them here or there. I'll talk to them, right? And since I have those close bonds, I'll work my best, like, I will work my best to get them involved. I will talk to them. I'll, that's what I think I can bring to council. I may not have the experience, I may not be as creative, but me, I can, I can bring people together. That's what I think I can do. Thanks. <laughs> so, I do have some experience. I have been part of a leadership group uh, throughout all of high school, and I have been part of student council during grade 12 of high school. That has led to me to be a great leader. Um, I have done organizations and events where we would take the grade nines, since they were the new ones, and take them out, show them a good time. And I feel like I'd be able to do that with the first year students just because I did have that event. And then I do work in a doctor's office, so that has been able to give me a good um, amount of hearing skills. So little kids will be talking to me. I can like double task and do so much things at once, and I'll be able to not only hear first year students, but also uh, people in student council, and I'd be able to work with them and try to make this year and all of our years at York a great year. Thank you.
calming down. Okay. <laughs> so, in high school, I can say that a lot of people knew me because I was the only one that I was advertising everything. I was a student council, which is, you know, student, it's also like our social council, for like, kind of um, dances and stuff. And I was also in Global Council, which worked with Free to Children. My school was actually called, uh, named after Craig Kalberger, um, you know, the Free to Children CEO guy. Uh, we, actually see, we actually saw him. I shook hands with the Governor General of Canada because I got chosen for that. I've done a lot of um, leadership stuff that people know me about because I just stand out like that. I, <laughs> I just, um, that's all. I go out there and I try to do something different. I could tell you that I've done different sports in high school that I've never tried before, like field hockey, basketball, <coughs> soccer, badminton, volleyball, and a little bit of rugby, but that's not my thing. <laughs> and then, um, and I, for a grade 12, actually, I got chosen for the, at the sorry, the Spartans Excellence in Athletics, means that I can balance uh, my education, which is school, I mean, and then also my athletics. I can really multitask, and that's what I can bring to the students. Not only that, but um, I don't know, I'm very stubborn when, uh, when I go try and tell people about what I'm <coughs> advertising for. Especially one time, I, I ran a fundraiser for, with just one of my friends, actually. It was for music. Oh yeah, I do music too. Um, I was just, just saying, I did a lot of things, and that's what I'm just saying that I could contribute to everything, and you just can't forget about me because I'm telling you that doing that fundraising, which was um, for Valentine's Day, we did we sold roses and stuff. It was so hard. Like we had to try and negotiate with someone to buy the roses for cheaper, like for a cheaper price, and like try and advertise that you should do it for Valentine's Day because a lot of people were too scared to buy roses for girls. I don't know. And then, so I'm just saying in general, because I'm taking a long time, I, I'm not just going to shy down or something like that and do that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. What is the best with the original question? Okay, so she asked what the original question was, so I was saying that. Um, it's like, what do you guys have that makes you different? Because a lot of time with first years, you see them like, they'll come onto the committee, and a lot of times they're really intimidated to put points out there, like to go present it to the upper years, being like, guys, you know, what, like, can we do this? I know it's brand new, and like, but can we just try it? Because a lot of times, like, is someone really gonna listen to me because I'm a first year? So it's like, what is it about you as a leader or qualities that you have that when you step into that room that you think that you're gonna be able to be a part of council, and that council is gonna want to listen to you, like, that kind of stuff. Okay. Thank you. So, I think the most important thing in, like, the most important quality to have to have this position is, I know, sure, you'll have to organize events and whatnot, but I feel like most people could, would, could have the idea to do that, right? So, what would you need to stand out is being able to talk to anybody, being able to get anybody's ideas and then present them for them. Because the first years won't want to go up to, like, a fourth year, like, the people who, I don't know, people who handle the money or people who are going to organize the event, like, they won't, the first years, they, they're like, <laughs> so they have to go up to them and I feel like I have the quality to like I've never really been very what's the word? Um scared uh, intimidated <laughs> thank you. Intimidated of people who are like older than me or so like I've never really, intimidations have never really gone to me. So I wouldn't mind going up to someone who's I don't know, a lot bigger than me or they have a higher status than me and talking to them about something, about an event that somebody a really cool event that somebody brought up to me. Or even if I pr even if I'm not even that confident, I still present it to them because I never know, right? Maybe they'll really get into it and they'll want to fund it and they'll want to do it up, right? So I think that's the most important quality to have is not be intimidated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, um, I don't think that being on a council will be a problem for me because I have a bunch of great ideas that I want to contribute, and I think that they are all great and that they all um, they are all um, aimed to uh, appeal to everybody. And uh, basically, I don't think that it will be a problem. Maybe a pub public speaking is a problem, but I'm hoping to get over that. <laughs> but um, Basically, my events that I would like to plan include 
partying include team building. I want karaoke night would be something fun, even though I don't sing, I will never sing. The only time I sing is in the shower. But I think that it'll be fun, it'll be hilarious. Uh, bonding over comedy is always great. Team building, team building is something I really want to uh, incorporate for first year students because uh, life science is a really difficult program where competition it gets really rough because I know everybody, I know half of you want to go to go into medical school. I saw that in the academic orientation, and I hope that I can really change that with events like the Amazing Race or something. Hopefully, I can plan that out. Hi again. Okay, so um, the question was what. It's like, what kind of qualities do you have? Because a lot of times, first year reps are very intimidated, very nervous when they go to approach the rest of council with their ideas. So it's, what do you have that when you step into that room, you know that you're going to be a strong player on council, you're going to be able to go up to them and be comfortable with pitching all the ideas that you have and making sure the first year voices are heard? Okay, so usually, I'm a very silly and giggly type of girl, but when I deal with business, I deal with business. So I act professional when I do that. Um, I have a lot of experience with event planning because I was one of those types of people in high school that were like executive in every club. I was one of those. And um, yeah, so I helped plan a carnival which raised $10,000, I think, for like this country, this um, community in India. That was our school and like, yeah, and I did, um, I actually do a lot of event planning, like formal event planning, because for Filipinos we have certain ages where we have like really huge events. So I don't know, I have this small like Filipino community and people come to us to help them plan events. Like I planned my own 18th birthday party and if you guys see like on Twitter or Instagram, I have pictures of me in a giant poofy dress looking like a princess. That's what these formal events will look like. Not me, like the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I just have a lot of, I just think I have a lot of experience with event planning. It's just something that comes natural to me. And I'm also very good at multitasking because I was one of those seniors. So I I obviously got into university and I was in like 10,000 clubs. So You're preaching to You know? Class. So, yeah, just, yeah. I think just how professional I am in front of people and honestly I'm not afraid to talk to talk to people whether they're older than me or younger than me I would just approach you anyways whether I don't know what you're playing or not I'll just talk to you and ask about it so I don't think that the older I don't know I don't want to say older but like the executive yeah. the student college council I don't think they would be like mean to me I think everyone's nice here I think <laughs> we are all the friends we are all the friends <laughs> Then I have one more question for you guys. So even though he may be running in charge, being in charge of the event, he might run money and he's supposed to run everything else. <laughs> I say he might at least kind of. Yeah. Um, I think, because I'm the vice president of my council, I still think the first year representative has the most amount of power because when you look at the students that are most actively involved, it's the first years because they just come in. And the reason I say is you have the most amount of power is because they're just starting with Bethune College and they're going to be continuing. So if you're not able to capture them in their first year, they're not going to continue to grow with the college and come to events in the later, which makes jobs like jobs like social harder because if you're not going to always keep them engaged with the college, you're going to lose them. So I guess with that said, what are you guys going to do as first year reps to make sure that you're out there, you're getting heard, and you're getting your first years involved and all of their voices heard? See, one of the biggest, like, in my, for my campaign, one thing I have not done so far is make posters. <laughs> you guys might think that as me being sloppy and slacking off, but no, I believe in more of a human perspective. I don't want to put it out there like, yes, this is a picture of me, this is what I'm going to do, you should vote for you. No. I'm trying to take the time out to whoever I know or don't know, try to go tell them, talk to them, why they should vote for me. That's what my approach is to where it is. And that's what to what you just said about how you would engage other people, because I'm trying to just take this approach during my campaign, uh, what's gonna stop me from taking this approach even if I get the position per se? Like, I'm mostly known here for doing magics. Go to random people, do magic tricks. So why, well, why can I not take those little skills right there and apply it to other people? 
it's not that, I don't think it should be that difficult, right? And engaging uh, to what, like getting people involved, again, my whole candidacy is based on what you want is what you get. Who knows what, for, who knows what fun is more than, better than you, right? And I'm all ears, just give me ideas. Reasonable, of course, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Um, and let's see what we can make, let's see if we can make miracles happen, who knows? So in my uh, speech, I, I said this also, and I said it's also a big problem. Like first years, I met a lot of people in classes, a lot of first years, and they're not really involved, right? I mean, they don't even know about Bethune. And I've been like, I've been putting effort, but it's fun. It's fun though. It's it's good to represent Bethune. It's fun to represent Bethune because Bethune stands for a lot, you know. I go talk to them, I tell them about Bethune. I'm like, you should come down. And a lot of times, I brought them down. And I what I really want to do, it's just my it's an idea. I want to get all the people from Fosher, everybody that's open, all the first years, and I want them to go to these classes, and I, I want to encourage them to meet these new people, talk to them. If you're sitting beside, I go around campus, I see somebody at the bus stop, I say something silly and I just start talking to them. I've met people that I go on a break to the cab, and for some reason I just end up talking to them. And it's just, it's so awesome, I just, I put my whole life story out there, he puts his whole life story or she, and like, we're eating meals, it's for 15 minutes. I don't even know the person, but, yeah, it's, it's, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like York, um, or even Bethune, every, like this whole campus, everybody's social, everybody wants to talk, and that's really awesome. Like, I do get intimidated, uh, but I always tell myself, don't back down, talk to them. They like, they feel the same way, they like talking to you, so just talk to them. And, to be honest, I, I want to get a whole community of first years or everybody just just to encourage the talking to people because there's a lot of first years that don't know to get involved and stuff like that. And, yeah. So during during Frosh, I try to form as many bonds as I possibly can because if a first year rep, they need to know their first year students. They need to know what they like, what they're into, and I have been trying to do that from the very beginning. So. Um, to help the social or the VP social or the president or anything, I have that bond with the first year students. I know that they're when they're having midterms, when they're stressing, when we can plan events, and I'm hoping to continue that bond, continue talking to them, getting their inputs, getting their opinions, and then forming an event that we can actually all enjoy, not just one group of people, but everyone, and say, yeah, York is very stressful, yeah, school is very stressful, we, I just bombed that midterm, but like at the end of the day, there's other people bombing that midterm. At the end of the day, I'm not the only one. I'm not here alone. There's people I can connect to. Let's go to the event. Let's have fun. And then you can also go back, go home, and study. Are you going to go next if we keep harder then? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm um, trying to remember it like that, that, that. I was, that. Just, trying to, I was just trying to remember the question. Oh, it was just, like, I was just saying, like, as a first-year rep, you have a lot of power because you really have to capture students in their first year to get them to kind of know and understand Bethune, and that's how they continue to grow with it. So what are you going to do to make sure that you get out there and you have the first years here you want to come interact with them and that you're taking their voice back to the council? Well, I have to say that personally, I've been there. I've been where I've been too shy to do anything. That was half of my high school year. It started after, um, I was like, why not? Why don't, why don't I be a link leader and try and interact with the grade nines and help them adjust for high school and stuff? And after that, I've always seen both sides, the being a follower and being a leader kind of thing. So I understand that it's hard. You just have to really go out there and try to make it seem like it's friendly, because sometimes it is intimidating. So you have to just go out there and have a smile on your face say hi, it's not that difficult. Even like trying to go to lecture halls and try to just remind them what's going on, that's pretty, I think that's a pretty good idea because sometimes you can't just put flyers up at Bethune or flyers up anywhere at school because not everyone has time to actually read them. Not gonna lie. And then, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, the thing is, like, you have to, the thing for me that I would do is that I would have other people help me um, go out there, not just me, I can't do it by myself, I know that, but I know that when, when something is out there, it just keeps spreading. And 
Keep, yeah, keep them engaged, get them coming out. I'd say just um, make it personal. Like, there's a whole group over here playing magic, and then there's a whole group there, and there's a whole group there. And they're all doing different things, and they don't know what's happening in Bethune. They just know what's happening in their clique as they sit in Bethune. They don't even know that that's what's happening, or like they don't follow Bethune on Twitter. So I feel like what would make the difference is if you actually took the chance to like talk to them, get to know what they like. Like, I went up to this guy, I was like, teach me how to play magic. And then I went up to this other guy, and I was like, let's play Pokemon together, or whatever. <laughs> and like, just, I don't know, just make a personal connection with everyone around you. Um, other than that, just um, speaking, talking about it, um, doing, planning events that they want. Because sometimes I feel like we plan events that people don't really want, or like, people aren't really interested in. So I feel like it would be cool if we got some sort of like suggestion box or, or something where people can drop their ideas in and we can work from there because we don't know what they want, you know? We only know what we want because, you know, you can't look in their brain and like figure it out, right? <laughs> so just talking to them and picking events that they want through a suggestion box and yeah. Spreading the word out about our events with social media and such. That's all. I'm going to put this out there. I don't know if you guys are allowed it, but something we have is we have a first year committee because there are so many first years. So I don't know if you guys can look at an exercise in that. Maybe talk to a mill and see if that stuff can happen. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Talk to happen, really but cool. Can we do a first year committee because there's so many first years? So. Yeah, that's the question. Oh, okay, you guys are different than us. Yeah, we have, like, we have uh, you can join the athletic committee. So that's again, that's open. Uh, Jiris will probably do the second round, but like that's and all these committees, like they're not hard to join. More or less, you kind of just show up to a meeting or we add you to the add you to the group on Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. You can join the <coughs> promotions and marketing committee. So that one, I guess, um, we can kind of clarify. But once a VP Sterling is that on kind of the exact process for how you join. And uh, then there's also the frosh or orientation committee. So that's a new committee that we're doing for the first time this year, which is um, going to be going to have people from all areas of kind of Bethune to just talk about academic orienta academic orientation and social. So we need frosh and first years, and the idea is that it will kind of work with Chris, the O chair from last year, to kind of do stuff there. But frosh committee is more or less the first year committee. So does anyone here have any questions for them? Yes, sir. 
So during Frosh, believe it or not, many of you guys know me and won't believe it, but I was that shy little girl, and I had one Frosh leader come up to me, and she started talking to me, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I don't know you, why are you talking to me, what are you doing, like, just please just walk away, and it was so intimidated, and then I see one guy, and he walked in, and he seemed so intimidated too, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I'm not the only, that's when I finally realized I wasn't the only one, because around me, everyone was forming friendships already, and talking to people, and I'm thinking, I'm like, What's wrong? I'm not, I'm not gonna like your Oh my God, what am I doing here? And then I see this one guy, and he's sitting down, and I just, I just sat down with him, and I'm like, "What's your name? Like, are you first year?" And I started talking to him, and I realized he's intimidated, but he's not at the same time. You just have to. He has that hard shell. You just have to break in and talk to him, and you'll see that he's more than that. He has his own opinion. He has his own feelings, and if you just talk to that one person, it allows him to open up and talk to other people and allow me to open up and talk to other people. So once I had sat down and talked to that one guy, my first friend at Frosh, my first friend at York, um, that's when I realized, just, just be yourself, be happy, no one's judging you. And I, love, I know a lot of people are looking at you like, you're not shy, you're loud, like you're running around. <laughs> and I was shy and that's what I want to do for other people. I want to be able to see them and be like, hi, what's your name? Like, are you okay? Like. So sometimes I'll go up to people and they'll look really upset and they'll be like, are you okay? Like, do you want to sit down? Do you want to talk? And that's what I want to do. If someone walks through the door, and which I sometimes do do already, I'll go up to them and be like, hey, my name's Nicole. Like, so sit down. What major are you guys on? And then if I see them walking through the halls, no matter who I'm with, I'll stop and say, hi, how are you? Because that one person, it just takes one person to make your day. just makes one person to make you smile. You don't know what they go on at home. You don't know how, what they go on with school, if they're able to manage it. And that one person showing that you care and that you do like notice them, it will change their whole life. Thank you. Um, if I see somebody come through those doors and they don't know what they're doing or they're new, I would I would go up there. I would introduce myself. I would talk to them. Obviously, I would give them some personal space. But the thing is, <laughs> now because you don't want to get too much, because everybody has that personal space, right? Um, but the thing is, everybody needs growth. You know how he said grade ten, he went to this camping trip. Well, grade eleven, I went to a camping trip. <laughs> Same thing happened. I I was so shy, man. And, but when people started talking to me, people need to talk to you. They need to open up to you, and then you can open up back, and that's growth right there. So if somebody walks through, like I've been doing this uh, for the last week or even this week, I'm with a friend and I meet another friend or somebody new, like I would introduce them so it's not awkward. It's going to be a little bit awkward, but like you introduce each other, get to know each other and all of a sudden I'm walking ahead of them and they start wa uh, talking to each other. I'm like, okay, cool. Like something's happening, right? Growth and stuff like that. So without a hesitation, I would talk to them. And you never know, man. They'd be like, oh. Uh, I just got a B uh, A plus in bio. I'm like, oh, can you teach me that? Come <laughs> on, <laughs> um, Well, uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. What would you do besides go and talk to them, right? <laughs> <laughs> what more can you do? Um, and I can't tell you how many countless times I've seen just somebody. I just I've introduced myself to someone over the past month who was just sitting there doing nothing. I'm like, hi, I'm Adam. You're for sure. No, that's cool. Um, <laughs> Let's go <call> later. <laughs> so it's just, I mean, it's just talking to people. It's just having that confidence to go out and introduce yourself. And because they're not going to do that because that you see them sitting alone. So what you have to do is you have to bring it to them. Instead of waiting for them to go out and make their own friends, you have to go introduce them. And like he said, just you're walking with someone, introduce them. I just, like, I've done that. I've, I'll be sitting at a lecture and I'll make a friend next to me. And then as I'm exiting, I'll meet up with my friends. Like, hey, meet such and such and such. And then, yeah, like, he's, he's all one group now. Like that person who's sitting by themselves, is now part of a big group and they're friends with like five new people all at once. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just as simple as going and talking to them, saying hi, what's your name? Call me maybe. If I saw someone walk in here and they just said, 
it's all in go. Like, yeah, you find someone, you get them to sit down, you have a conversation with them, and yes, it comes off as creepy, desperate, any other analogies you guys want to draw here. <laughs> um, but honestly, that's how you just mingle, right? How do you not, unless you take the first step, how are you ever going to get to know someone? How does everyone want to be? What are they, like, most people, if you don't try something new, you're never going to learn what you like, what you don't, right? Everybody comes to university with the mindset, right? I'm going to do this, do this, do this, do this, and that, right? And, but you know what? You're never going to really end up doing this, 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 and that, right? You're going to do whatever you're influenced around. And honestly, that's what Bethune does. That's why I love Bethune. Like, I came really just to myself, right? And because of other people, I was able to open up, make a lot of freshman friends, a lot of leader friends. And honestly, if none of that works, worst case scenario, just pick a goddamn card. Good <laughs> <laughs> magic tricks too. And Jerry, it's very fast because there's so many, and you are actually very excited to share a lot with us. <laughs> <laughs> to make it very brief, can you actually, in 15 seconds or less, please? <laughs> 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 well, I got the time. Hey, hold on. In 15 seconds or less, if you can, please do not go above 30. So between 15 and 30 seconds only. Can you give us three words? In your opinion, as to what defines the student college? Three words. Let's go. Wait, wait. No, 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 no,
Does anyone else have any more questions for the first year? I want to say one thing before we close. Honestly, everybody running here, like I'm actually glad there are these people because I can tell you a story of how I met each one of these people and they're all, okay. I met Nicole, she bought me pizza. Oh, you're going to get the story of each one. Oh, we're going to get the story of each one. First moment I met her, she bought me pizza. I was hungry as the cake. No pizza, she bought me pizza. All of a sudden, I came into the commuter room first day of Prosh. And I came in, I had nowhere to sleep. Wilson got out of his bed, came with me to the other room, and pulled in a couch for me to sleep on. You were meant for Melissa. I know we said no parties, but I think the first years are all running on one ballot. Yo, we're You rolled one, you rolled them all. Melissa gave me a slutty hug. It was so warm. I stacked so well. I'm not paying for Actually, okay. That's it. Beth, you know, Beth is looking all, she wants to take a shower, but she didn't have a towel. <laughs> what can I do but give her my towel? <laughs> See, I would say that it was, it was just for me, and I think it was, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend to myself like it was special for me, but he did a magic card just for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got the ace of hearts, not the ace of diamonds, right? Everybody else gets a joke. <laughs> My first year this one was on Instagram. I don't know if you guys saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, ready? I saw it. I love all y'all. That's my best thing problem. I want to rap y'all. That's my best thing problem. If finding your first rap is your voting problem, then vote for Melissa because I can solve them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, with that, <laughs> that being said, everyone, thank you for who stayed, you know, to the end of it. We're going to call the All Candidates debate. I'm just going to ask you guys first, you're to stick around for a second, I'll talk to you after. But uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out to the debate. The official voting period will be Wednesday, October 9th from 9 a.m. to Friday, October 11th at 5 p.m. So don't forget to vote. Um, all of the voter, um, like, all of their profiles will be posted tonight as soon as I'm done editing this video. So uh, we'll post all this stuff up tonight so uh, you can see all of their full profiles and everything and what they have to say, along with uh, the video from today. All right? Thank you.